Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, start of public media and one's foreign language news hour. I'm Cenge Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary in the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. Another 400,000 people can be vaccinated till Wednesday here in Hungary, which would place the country in first place when it comes to the most vaccinated in the EU, announced the minister in charge of the prime minister's office on Koshut Radio. Gergely Gulyás explained, it's not the first time the country will be playing a pioneering role, as it did just that when it came to migration and now with its vaccination program. We were the first ones who knew that we should look towards the east, not just the west, when it comes to vaccines. The politician added, the authorities insist that Hungarian experts examine the vaccines and only pick and choose ones that are completely safe. The number of people vaccinated here in Hungary is getting close to 1 million. Vaccination is continuous in both GP offices and vaccination points throughout the country. The national chief medical officer said, with the two-week lockdown starting on Monday and continuing the vaccination program, we will be able to overcome and stop the third wave. These two measures side by side will see the number of those infected decline or at least halt the speedy growth. We hope that we will reach this plateau much quicker and see the number of those vaccinated rise in order so that we can curb and even stop the third wave of the pandemic. Infections are spreading at a quicker rate and more and more people are in need of hospitalization, even the younger generations during the third wave of the pandemic. The reason behind this is that most elderly people have already received their vaccines and because of the mutative strains are much stronger, said Miklos Rusroy, a virus researcher on M1. He emphasized that even the first dose of the vaccine protects with good efficiency. This is why it's important for people to receive their vaccines as quickly as possible. It provides an 80% protection, which can seriously reduce the risk of this sickness. Don't forget there's a shortage of vaccines worldwide, so it's a great thing that we can vaccinate everyone as soon as possible. Vaccines are safe and effective. The only question is how long they provide protection against the virus, said the professor of the University of Seged. Tomás Verkony emphasized, vaccines are not a source of danger, but rather if someone does get infected and then recover, they might still experience serious complications for months to come. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hunger Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching. Please remember to stay safe, wear a mask and look after others and have a lovely evening.